Hello friend and welcome or welcome back. My name's Candice if this is our first time meeting and I am all about minimizing and simplifying your life. If that strikes a chord with you, I would be thrilled to have you subscribe. Today I'm gonna talk to you about my Amazon favorites. This is gonna be a little bit different because this is a minimalist's Amazon favorites. As I've gone about minimizing my home, I have been so much more mindful of the things that I've brought in. So although I still shop, I still accumulate, I have cut the amount of items that I have brought into my home down significantly. And when I do shop, I try and be a lot more mindful and think about things that I really do need or things that I even want, but I try and sit on them for a while and not make impulse buys. As I have become more minimal, I've really started to learn the value in quality over quantity. So I've pared down my wardrobe significantly. And in fact, I do have a spring wardrobe video if you want to see what I have bought as a capsule wardrobe, minimalist wardrobe for the spring. But I wanted to get some nice hangers. These were definitely a little bit of a splurge around $1 per hanger, a little bit less than a dollar. But I grabbed these in white and rose gold. Because I don't have a lot of items of clothing, especially Especially rotating through the seasons. I don't keep it all in my closet at once. So I just have one season's worth out. I really felt like I could justify having some pretty hangers. I am going to be overhauling my closet. My closet needs some definite TLC. I really need to give it some love and organize it even better and clear it out even more. But this was a really fun place to start in kind of overhauling the look because I want something really pretty and clean and classy. So I was excited to buy these. These are non-slip. They're really velvety, so your clothes just cling onto them. I think I got this in a pack of 30. Everything that I'm mentioning today will be listed down below, but I love these. I think they're gorgeous, and I have no regrets. One thing that I was really, really excited to have more time to focus on in my life after becoming more minimal was my health. I really want to focus on just eating healthier in general for myself, for my family. And so I did quite a little bit of research before buying a book. And I definitely sat on this and thought about it for quite a while, read reviews, and I'm really glad that I picked this up. This is instant loss. It says eat real and lose weight. So this is specifically meant to help you lose weight if you follow her plan. However, her philosophy is just to eat real food things that have come from the earth. So I can get behind that 100%. I've really enjoyed this. I love that in the front, she gives you different alternatives to baking products like flours and oils. I just love it. I have really enjoyed cooking out of here and I'm actually going to be sharing some of her recipes with you in some cook with me videos. So stay tuned for that. But if you're looking for something with healthier recipes, healthier, wholesome ingredients. I love this. Something that I have been repurchasing on Amazon for the past several years has been the C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve. This is not my first time mentioning this on my channel, but I continue to repurchase this just because there's nothing else like it. I love to use this as an evening balm or a night balm before I go to bed. You can also use it on your cuticles, dry areas, your knuckles. I absolutely adore this product. It doesn't have a strong scent. It's just a light scent, a little bit rosy, a little bit light. There really is no tint. It's not sticky at all. And it's a little bit thicker. So it's not just going to slide all around your lips. So if you're looking for a really, really nice lip balm moisturizer, and this is multi-purpose too, like I said, you can use it on your elbows, knees, face, cuticles. It just has all these areas that it's good for. I highly recommend this. This actually comes in a pack of two. You can sometimes buy these at bath and Body Works, but I just get them on Amazon for convenience. For some strange reason, I cannot find the third knife in this set. I debated not showing these, but I really think they are worth a mention. These are knives for children. They actually cut really well. I found myself using them too, just because of how incredibly effective they are, but they are really I mean, they're sharp, you have to be careful, but these are really nice for children to help you in the kitchen. And I've noticed that my kids do a lot better eating 
the, the foods that I am cooking, if they help me. There's a nice grip on here so it's non-slip. The only thing I will say about this is that they do stain, so you have to wash them off right away. I don't really mind the staining just because I'm gonna keep them away in a drawer. They're not on display at all, so I'm gonna be fine with that, but that is something to note is that they do stain. But if you have little ones and wanna get their help in the kitchen, I love this set. I think I must be one of the only homemakers in America not to have a cast iron skillet. I have never owned one up until now, and don't feel bad if you don't have one either. I just recently started learning about the amazing uses for this and how it can go on the stovetop, in the oven, you can use it over a campfire. I love how multi-purpose this is, and you can make all kinds of things in a cast iron skillet. You can make casseroles, pancakes, pizza, all kinds of desserts, cookies, brownies. I really have been loving this. It heats very evenly. This is one of the reasons people have them is just because of how evenly they heat. So I will even saute veggies in here, but you've got to get the little handle. I got these separately. I <laughs> When I bought the skillet, I didn't realize how incredibly hot this handle gets. So I just also grabbed a, this is by Lodge, again, I'll link it below, but you need it. <laughs> you have to have it. I feel like don't get the cast iron skillet without getting this too, because we definitely made the mistake and touched the handle and it was really hot. So go ahead and grab these two together if you're going to go ahead and invest in this. I shouldn't even say invest, this was only $13, super inexpensive. It is a quality piece of cookware, it's really, really heavy and it has been doing awesome for us. And again, I'm excited to share some recipes in this because we have a few we already love. The pillows on our bed in our master bedroom were getting so pilled up stained they were just really old so i knew i wanted to replace them but i wanted something that was a not going to be too expensive and b that was also going to be really comfortable and i think that's probably most of us so i went ahead and picked these up they're like a down alternative pillow i got these in the standard size but they are a little small i think if i were to recommend them to anybody i would recommend getting the queen size just because these these are kind of tiny but they are so comfy they're really really fluffy i adore them they came vacuum sealed so you have to kind of let them puff up and air out at first but i have zero regrets these were about 32 dollars for the pair so i paid just about 16 dollars per pillow which i thought was very reasonable especially for how comfy they were so if your pillows are looking a little grungy like mine i do suggest investing in some nice ones it's definitely worth it and sometimes those pillow stains just don't come out. I have incredibly dry skin and I have to be so careful with the types of exfoliants that I use in my skincare and beauty routine. So I really love this little exfoliating sponge. This is by Real Techniques and I can't find it in my drugstore anymore. I used to buy it at Walmart all the time, but it's not there. And so I just grabbed this off of Amazon. So I just fill this up with water and then put a little bit of soap on here and then you can just gently exfoliate exfoliate your skin. This gives you a little bit of a deeper cleanse and I really, really love how gentle it is because my skin is sensitive and dry. So I need something that's going to be really, really soft, but also get a deep cleanse and a light exfoliant. So if you're looking for something, I love this one. It was around $5 off of Amazon and I love that I can use it with different types of cleansers and face washes and it just works beautifully with all of them. Also for the skin, and this is another one that I just keep going back to over and over again. It's so good. This is the Rosehip Seed Oil. If you've heard me talk about this, give me a little hand raise in the comment section and let me know that you've been here that long, which I love, but this is so good for your skin. You can also use it on your nails and on your hair. It really softens. I will either mix this with my nighttime moisturizer or I'll even drop a few droplets into my foundation, which is what I did today. And I just feel like it really does add that extra layer of hydration that I am always after. You can also put this on your hair. I've never tried it just because this bottle is so tiny. I'd rather put in coconut oil or something like that, but I 
adore it. I think it's awesome. If you have oily skin, I'm not exactly sure how this would work for you, but if you're normal to dry, I highly recommend this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what is on a minimalist's Amazon shopping list. Again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Crisis averted. I found the other knife. Here it is. Oh. <sighs>